All right, let's get this going today. Do a little work on the hollow hall. Okay, I still need to do the railing there. Got a railing there, we got it there, okay. Fu Manchu down there is doing just fine. Welcome in. Alright, so... I gotta check to see if I have any of the blocks. The wrong blocks, but I have blocks. Alright, got the wrong blocks, so let's go get some. We're gonna be working on this bad boy today. So I made a decision to nuke the extra portion, the extra uh, flame shrine flame that was down here. It's, it's one of those things where it was only about like, I don't know, five meters that way more or something. I never really intended to go straight that direction anyway to, to that boundary. So I had always had intentions of going laterally to some extent and I haven't, ever since we got these big doors, I haven't liked the door occludes the staircase anyway. It actually goes down way further than you see there. Or, I'm sorry, it goes way up higher than you see there. So I kind of want to get the whole extent of the doors, which means I need to do a little bit different here. Maybe have a, a multiple sunk down... I don't know how to explain it. I, I can see it in my head what I want to do. I just don't know how to explain it. And then drop those doors down so I can get the full height, because they go up another six blocks or something so we're going to see about that getting that changed we're going to come in on a flat I'm going to leave that bridge we're going to come in on a flat and do something different I'm not really sure what yet I got to go get blocks so we can build It's one of those things, man. With this hollow hall, build it originally, never really finished it because it's just way too big of a project. I took on way, way too much. And I <laughs> just never finished it. And yeah, I'm sure a few more than one person's like, bro, you ever going to finish that? I'm like, well, you, you know, words and reasons. <laughs> but now that it's all renovated, ready for update four. By the way, I was doing some exploring. So, I don't know how well I could see it on this map. You can. You can see I was doing some poke outs trying to get to places. So, my original assumption is that the mountain biome was something like, say, here to here, all the way up to, I don't know, whatever the boundary is. Say it's right here or something. And this whole, like, northeastern chunk. Because there are a whole bunch of mountains there. There always have been a whole bunch of mountains. However, ever since it's about right here, ever since they put that floating castle jobby, there's now mountains all over here, all along this, all along this whole thing. It might actually be... So we still have room this way to go. It might actually be almost the entire north. Which would be incredible, but it also means the biome is going to be absolutely gigantic. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know for sure, but maybe. Be awesome if it is. Okay, here's what I think about this. What I think I can do with this. So we'd go... Okay. we go like... the back. Now, question is, do I want to go all the way to that? Boy, that sure would be dramatic if I did. What's up, Jasper? I am finally trying to uh, <laughs> make some sense of this hollow hall and get it finished or something like finished. So it looks like it's finished finally. 
I don't know about finished. I there's no way I can get it finished in just a couple of hours. But I should be able to put a good chunk in it and see what we can what uh fun stuff we can come up with. Okay, so that did I get that off? That comes right to that. Are my columns in the wrong spot? Hard to tell, let's keep moving. Nope, wrong way. Damn it. This way. Oh, hell yeah, my columns look like they're right on. Sweet. Columns are dead on. Alright, so then the thought is we're going to bring this down. We're going to do like a... Uh, like a sunken courtyard before the door. Really give the door some interest. I mean, it's not like that door isn't interesting, but give it a little more interest. Also, I want to see if I can bring that ceiling down a little bit. It's a hell of a lot. It's a lot to work with, too, being that high. Right. Sweet. Now, let's get to this jobby right here. Yep, that didn't work. There we go. So you would come in, you would come down three. Do you want to go down three? We need a better camera system. Damn it. I wish. Maybe I can't snap it. Nope, can't snap it. Okay, fine. Screw you. I'll just keep fighting it till we get it. Hurrah. Oh, one more. You asshole. Right at the last second, man. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Like it, okay. So it'll be this kind of. Yep. Now the question is should I put the floor at that level or put the floor below that level? Hmm. I think at that level. I think I don't want to go too grand with it. And then we'll enter from that level. Come on. Tippy toe that in there. There we go. Very nice. And one more. No. I gotta be a jerk. Come on. I just saw it. There we go. Alright. So you come down, and now you have this kind of really interesting... Why do you got to be there and you're not there? Okay, I know why you're not there. There you go. Now you're coming down the same. Now it gives... 
a little more interest to the way that the door is going to sit. I do need to figure out what I'm going to do. So cool and all to sink the door down. Great, that gives me a little bit more of the door height. But the question then is, what am I going to do? Am I, gonna, I don't want to come out to stairs anymore, so I want to just basically rid myself of these stairs. Yeah, not while I'm standing on them. Yeah, there's no other way to get back up here if I do this. Um... I can't get back up if I do that. I need to go get another one of those. So I have a way to get round. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Where are you at? There you are. You know what? Not split stack. Let's just take him with me. Because I'm sure I'm going to need them. Alright, so if I put this, let's go... Right. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. Alright, so you come up to that one, and then we'll come up to that one. And that way we can get around and not be stuck, because I start taking stairs away. Which I'm going to do. Maybe. I think I'm going to take stairs away. What we go? What's going on here? Uh, doors in my way, maybe? Nope. It just... doesn't want to get taken away. Alright, fine. Oh man, I don't want to have to do this by hand. Okay, I guess we're doing it by hand. I don't know why I did it that way. I must have done it in rows or something. All right, so all this is in the way. Let's just take this whole thing out. I'll reproduce those broke-ass columns later. Because I want to get the door sunk down. Okay, and let's see, if we're putting it in the middle there, so that's one, boom, To me, it seems like this is right here in the middle, so that's in my way. Alright, just, just go away. Just all you go away. Mess, you're in my way. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Alright, so if we do... Sure seems like this one piece, but I can't get a block directly on it. No, I did. Alright, so just to make sure that that is not in our way... I need this out of my way to, get, to go back into those spaces and finish out the wall. The floor, excuse me.
Yeah, we're gonna make this go away. Okay. So now we need this to be out to that level so that the door will seat properly. I need one more. Okay. And then inside there. Very good. Whoa! Fall down into oblivion. Alright, so there's our floor. One more. Okay. So now we have a channel for our door. It's low enough. I kind of want this one gone, but then that puts it in. I'll put the door on. I'll see what I think about that. All right, now for big boy. Just snapped right in place. Look at you. God, it still goes up so much higher. It's so crazy how big this damn thing is. Alright, so now the question is, what do I like? Do I like it with one block back, or do I like it with right up against it? I think I don't really care either way. So let's put it back. Nope. There you go. Alright. So that's back. Now we got more of our doors. It almost looks more odd now because you can tell now that it goes up way higher. I could always... Hmm. I could always welcome in somebody. Do like a little... Maybe. Can I even close this door while I'm standing here? Get me out of here. Okay. So, how much space is there up there? One block. So, there's one block before the ceiling, and I know I can't do jack with the ceiling. I am I actually punctured it ex somewhere here, expanding the... Uh, <laughs> hey, when I expanded the square for update 4. I can dig that, how that sinks in there. Yeah. Now the question is, should I go higher? I think I should bring the bring this part up higher a little bit. So it goes up two more blocks. I could as like a I could bring it up. Well, I can only go up one block though. Okay. All right. All right. No, 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 no. Not that way. All right, let's go up one more block. And that's something weird on that side right there. It probably is full, but it looks strange. So I'll check it out, see what's going on. Let's uh, do a bigger piece so I have more space to land on things. There we go. Now I have a place to work. Alright, so if we bring it up one, do we want to go up from the... I think we want to go up straight from here. I think it'll look nicer. Yep. Okay, am I missing a piece in there or not? It's just the way that the, they come together. I wish they could figure that out, or I hope, I should say, that they can figure that out. How, you see how these come together, and then on this side, and it, it 
this happens all, with blocks all over the place. It has that little gap. Almost looks like you're missing a piece, but you're not missing a piece. So it's kind of odd. I can, however, tell that uh, this up in here is not exactly the same. That should be that block. If I do that block, I don't know that I can get to it. That's weird. That looks strange. It's only... Th okay, so that shouldn't be there anyway. That's part of the... Oh, I know what it is. And we'll, we'll bring that back over there, too. Alright, so you... You... Yep, alright, so that's fixed. So now the question is... So that'll bring my door up a little bit, but if I take... Okay, okay, okay. If I take all of this... Eh, wrong tool. Bigger tool. If I take it all the way to the ceiling... Kind of forgoes trying to uh, lower my ceiling any. At least in that spot. I do want to do those light boxes in there. I just have to redo them because they're off by like one square in one direction and it just, man, after I went through all the trouble to build them and they were off by a square, I'm like, kill me. <laughs> I just, I couldn't even believe it. Alright. Okay. So that gets us full height. There we go. What was it that Ian said? Now that's a big door. <laughs> In Jurassic Park, the first one. think that is correct. Okay, I don't see any poking through over there. So let's push it this way and see if it does stick up. But I think that's actually... Yep, still sticks up by... Oh, God. What the hell? This door is so big. We're now to one block. I don't think I want to go down any further. I just want this door to be full. I really like the re the relief on that top. But at least it looks a little better that it's not... like chopping the door in half. I don't know how to explain that. Um, before I just took those two blocks... See, like... Uh, it looks, because you have this square right here, it looks, I mean, that actually looks like it is the top, even though it isn't. So, I think I'm going to leave it. Now, let's look at the reveal. So, you come down, and you see the awe. No, I think that's fine. You can see here, too, how it's doing it, how it does it here on this side, but it doesn't do it on this side. It's the same piece. It's just something weird with the voxels, how they mesh together, and it only happens on the left side. Or more to point, it's working on the left side and it's not working properly on the right side. I did a whole test about it on some video in the while back. I don't remember what it was. All right, so we have our door fixed. We have a nice little uh, I don't know what this thing's called. Whatever this thing's called, and I like it. I, I like it, it gives a little more grandeur to the space. But now we got to figure out how the hell I'm going to do all this. We're going to come in. And obviously we're not going to go straight down anymore. 
which means all of this is at too high of a level. And I need to take all of that down too up there. Because that's no longer relevant, all of that stuff right there. Okay, well, let's get some platforms. Um, let's do and that, maybe? Is that high enough to do all the stuff work I need to do? Probably. There we go. Snap to my loo. You missed. I keep missing. Okay. Let's see if we can go one more over here. All right, we got some scaffolding up. So this detail has to go. I might do something else. I mean, I guess it'd have to go, but it doesn't look appropriate anymore now that I've taken that piece down. The, the beam, if you will, that went over the door is no longer there, at least on this side. Ah, right, but it still is here. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that. Well, I'm going to leave it for now because i got to figure out what I'm doing with all this stuff. leave enough space for me to get onto that. The rest I'm going to nuke. Okay, so we come in. We're going to have to do go like down. Maybe from it there's a platform that like sticks out and looks over. Maybe another one of those courtyards comes down and goes along the side maybe. And then a bridge that goes across that's functional and has some rooms and stuff up here and up here all that goes down and gets down to this level at some point from that level up there but not directly let's make this so it so you don't directly come down to this level I mean obviously players can jump down but we can make it so you don't directly hop down I mean we could with all the like metal grates and whatnot, we could make it so that I mean obviously a player could just grab their hammer and, and do it. But we could make it so that they can't actually get to this level right away. Kinda we're we're creating a dungeon, if you will. A dungeon level and hi, there you go. So uh have an impediment, something that keeps them from coming straight to this level here gives them an incentive to go around and follow the path of what we have created for whatever it is we're creating. Might work. Those things. I need to redo. Oh, it's such a pain. You can tell I'm off by, let's see, two blocks. I'm two blocks to the left, and I should be to the right. And if everything's going to be centered and even, then I have to move all of that that I built two blocks this way. <laughs> it's like, oh god. Uh, when I did it, I looked up, I'm like, no! What's up, rock? Get out of there. Alright. So let's get the rest of these going. So I don't know how much anyone has been uh, 
paying attention to what the the little sneaks the devs have been doing, those little sneaky sneakers. Uh, Steel is coming. That is, it is confirmed now. Uh, we will have Steel Arrow. We will have Poison Steel Arrow, or Steel Poison Arrow, however what you want to call it. We will have a Steel Two-Hander. Uh, we're talking crafting items at this point. Uh, that also leads me to believe, I hope, I should say, that we will have a steel pickaxe from the iron pickaxe. And then maybe also we would have a steel axe, potentially. Maybe eventually we'll get better rakes, who knows. But I could also see there being, maybe of lesser quality, a wand a let's see a staff a one-hander probably something to do with a shield i'm guessing there's going to be bows that will be steel so hey uh, that, that was a big hole um so i'm guessing there'll be stuff there so i can imagine steel alone is going to be probably hmm that's a big guess there uh Probably six to eight pieces minimum. New items uh, from equipment to this way. Equipment to um. So uh, sort of. I mean, it is. Uh, <laughs> except it's the one I built. So let me go upside. Hey, no, I didn't mean to pick it up. So this is inside Public Resource World, and you obviously see this this dude's right here. And I built this whole. We got a little secret room I built in here where he does his really nasty work. He comes in and I I created this thing I called the Decimator, call it whatever you want. It's kind of a dumb name, but created that. And uh, I'll go up, and you'll see that this is the Public Resource World. It's the original. Uh, in version 3.5. So, there's the armory. There's the contest winner for the uh, alchemist house. The contest winner for the farmer. And I built the uh, hollow hall. So we got this right in the middle of the square. It's the old square that I have expanded for prep for uh, update 4. And I built a hollow hall in it. And I just never finished it because I bit off way more than I could chew. <laughs> and so that's just what I'm working on now. And, you know, we got these big doors. We've got these fencing now, the whole hall stuff, the big ass banners. And so I figured now's as good a time as any to uh, work on fixing it. So that's what I'm doing. And it gives me something to do while I'm, we're all waiting for update four. It's not hollow halls, but if if I can, I've got a bunch of screenshots and I, I've cleared all of them, so I could. I'm gonna try to build as a reasonable representation of the hollow halls as I can. I, I can't say that I'm I'm the best at building, but I, I like think I'm pretty good. And it's fun, something fun to do. And this one's even got a. Uh, Oubliette. Whoa, 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 whoa. Only one way out of that. And you better have a uh, glider if you go down. All this was dug... This was actually further this way. I decided to get rid of one of the altars to save us space. But, yeah, I've built everything you see in here. And now I'm working on building more because... Now that we ha I decided to fix the way the door works, I want to uh, build this out a little better. Make it look nicer. Try to actually... I, I don't know about finish, that's a strong word. But try to actually do a little bit more with it. Okay, so I need to make some more of those. You're in my way, sir. still my way. 
Here we go. I am going to have to get rid of it a little bit more of my distressing because it's going to show. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that too. There we go. So I need to nuke these because it needs to be in the other material. Get my columns right. And the wall needs to come down. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Yep, it's still showing through. Of course it is. Dang it. Should have taken more. Alright. Let's shut this door. Oh, it's closed from the inside. So it's definitely not going to be wide enough because it's going to block us from... Okay. So the question is, how much further do we want to go out? I kind of feel like there should be a... Uh, like one of these jobbies where we do... something like this and maybe maybe there'll be an altar right here or something that looks out over and then you come over to the sides let's shut this and shut it inward and see how it gets this love the doors part of me at first was like why are they so janky and then later I was like oh I kind of get why they're janky alright so definitely needs more Let's actually just go ahead and go from here. been a ways down. Alright, so I need to fix that piece there. Okay, so I can get underneath. That's alright. Then we'll be good. Okay, so I'm going to there.
So then that will be that size. Type and change. Very good. We switch to that. Uh, nope. There we go. All right. So we now we have a finished piece, although this is not the right size anymore. three, I think. Sounds right. Alright, so now we have our column is the same. Got all that fixed. This is fixed, although I might bring it down and have a little bit more now that we're uh, lower to the ground. Okay, so now let's fix this side. And then we gotta figure out how are we going to... I mean, to be fair... We don't have to go down here at all. This whole thing could be like a, you know, for lack of a better term, a lookout platform kind of thing to, ooh, ah, hollow halls. And then we go to either side and do a thing somewhere, something. Like one of, like, uh, which one is it? One of them has a secret room close your ears if you don't want to hear about this. Uh, one of them has a secret room that is a uh, it's like a it's like a dining room. I have lack of a better name for it. It's a banquet hall or something. And so you know one of these could lead into that because I don't have anything like that yet. I mean I have some, some reading nooks. I've got his place. I've got the the uh, whatever you're calling this farm, I interior farm. But I don't really have the services, so bedrooms and mess halls and all that kind of stuff. Because before they were all undead walking around, they were just regular denizens of the of Embervale. So yeah. Curious about something. Can I get off the cliff? If we're underground, can I get to the cliff? Is our boundary far enough that I can get to the cliff? I mean, I'm sure with digging I can. So the boundary is to here. So totally not over here, because I'd have to dig. I mean, not like it would kill me to dig. What's up, floaty rock? 
However, ooh, I'd have to come a long way back. Yeah, it's a lot of digging. I don't know, I don't want to dig that much. Probably not the best idea to make this hollow hall absolutely gigantic anyway, just because who's really going to go run through it? I mean, this is just a player resource world, public resource world, so who's really going to go and, oh, let me look at all this hollow hall that does nothing because there's no NPCs in it. But it is fun. Okay, I'm going to have to nuke a little bit of that. Okay. And then that. Oh, a little bit of that too. Maybe. think so. Alright, let's put this up and see what it shows up for as. Which one did I go to? This one. Okay. Alright. Maybe, and then some kind of a platform here, altar, thingamajiggy that we look down over. So I do a happy little plug. Nice. I think these walls are different. I think this wall sticks out further. Right? It's four, and then that's two. Oh, this whole thing isn't built right. Well. That's a lot of work to change. I'm going to leave it for right now and worry about changing it later. Okay. So now, if we come in... Well, even if we come in this way. It's got our big boy doors. We go in. We're coming into the awe and the wonder of... Is that centered? It is not.
Looks like it's still one off. Okay, let's see. It's one off still, okay. We'll fix it. There we go. There we go. Alright. So we have plenty of space to walk past the door on both sides. That's good. Nice. So, let's see what we can do with this. I feel like this would be a good spot that we have a doorway that goes under it. I feel like that on both sides, I think that makes good sense. So then, okay, we need to look at the doors. Doesn't have to be a door, but I want to look at what doors we have. Because even this thing is just way, way too big to put there. I'd like to have a single door. Where am I going? Over here. Let's see. There's this. And they do use that in the hollow halls a lot. And of course, with our fences... You've got the tall one and the short one. For the hollow halls, okay. But you've also got this bad boy. That we could use for something. Uh, here? Haha. <clears throat> I feel like this would be a big altar. Let's take this and the small one just in case. And I think we need to thicken the floor, too. Mainly because I want to sink it down. Just like I did with that one. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. I want to sink that crypt fence down into it. So is this the right? I think that's the right. Yep, that looks right to me. So before I do this, it's not going to be like that, but I need to snap it in there because I need it. I need to know it's oops, wrong one. I need to know its size so that I can do this. Not like that. Snapping off. Yeah, so you come in, there'll be a quote-unquote altar-like thingy here, and that's going to be sunk down. So, next job we need to do... And one more. I think I need to be a little bit more even. Eh, we'll try it. See what see what it comes up with. 
that there. Now, switch back to big boy floor, and I need two in depth. Okay, so it will let me to What's up, Kalei? Ah, I missed it. Wrong one. This one. Alright, so now what we need to do is bring this down. I really only need about the center. Here, let's do it this way. There we go. Alright, so now... Get our fence back. Snap her in there. Not that. This. Cool snappity snap. And let's see what that looks like. That is much better. Very nice. So, now we have that snapped in there. Go do this. Boom. Done. Perfect. Alright. So now we got that there. I don't know if I want to do fencing all the way around, though. I'll have to figure something out. Columns, maybe? Ooh, it would be tall columns. I'll figure something out. And then... Okay, so now I want to take a look at these. If I'm going to use these... Good lord. Man, can't we have something in between? <laughs> That's insane. I can't use that. What the hell? <laughs> oh man, how am I going to do a door and make it look like a hollow wall? Oh, okay. I guess I can do an opening. I mean, not going to kill me to do an opening. I do need to fix this though. Marble. Yeah, six and six, okay. All right, so if we do this and we would go through this, so I'm thinking, I don't know how you got back there, buddy, but you're gone. And then I need to cinch this up. Like that. So now we have a fancy schmancy doorway to go through. Oh, right. Yeah. Alright, so now we got a fancy door. We'll do that on this side too. I swear, I've just got random wall chunks inside the walls. Alright. Why does this one seem lower? Am I wrong? Boy, it sure does. Okay, this is... That's six. Oh, I know why. I'm dumb. There we go. Much better. So now we have we come in, we got that, we've 
we got ways to go to the sides. I might put those across, or I could. Ooh, 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 I could. Could do this. Um, do I want? I think I want to go. Do I want to go on the wall? It's got nice spikes. So if I do two, what? Well, it comes to a good spot. Ooh, that's off. So I am right. This does do. This is not built square because apparently I don't know how to use math and stuff. This one is not as wide, which means I have to push that one into the wall. Okay. For shame. Nope. So I did come over all the way to that. And we'll go to that. So it's, it's off by one. It's not that bad. Not the end of the world. I do have to get one of these going, though. Otherwise, I'm not getting back up. Uh, here. Hey. Where the hell did it go? Oh, really? Are you kidding? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, that is just hilariously bad. That, that just, yeah. Yep, that just happened. There we go. Now it lets me get back up. In the meantime. I think, do I want to do, like I did, so up there, you can see how I used the stone to in case it, I use these same ones, and I think, I think I want to do the same thing, but maybe do it a little more impressive this time. Like a big, a big chunky stone, big, big chunky stone, like the chunky soup of stones. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I need to do it as a column. Da, 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 da. You this and then it does make sense to have this go to the ceiling now. And we'll get that up there to the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, see this yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like it a lot. I'll probably end up using this thing again. Ooh, it's a little too... Okay, I think I'll push this out a little further so that I can square it. I'll show you what I mean. So that I can put this coming out that meets up to the one that's to my right, well, in front of my character so it's just a a U shape on on all sides. I'll do that so that it, it looks nicer. And it and it'll be a little bit better of a viewing space anyway, I think. Alright, we need to go up. Oh, I already got it on me. Durr. Choose these. Um. Yep, that should work. Okay, now let's get to this.
Oh, no. Well, maybe. Yeah, we, we could do it varied. Doesn't have to just be the redstone. I think I want to come even out a little bit, really chunk that up. It'll allow me to do some more work to it. Okay. So. Whoa! Nope, didn't like that. There must still be some fence sticking up. Alright. I gotta be real careful I'm not going too high. I gotta go sh exactly to the ceiling and nothing else. Otherwise it's gonna... Of course, I actually have to get it to the ceiling. Herp derp. I don't think I can from here. Okay. Thank you. Now, try this again. And I can't see. Perfect. All right, fine. Nope. Yep. Okay, so that did go to the ceiling. I just wasn't seeing it right now. Here's where I can do the, like a support arch to make it look nice. And since we are going to thicken this up by one more block, it'll allow me to do the taper like I did behind me, which I think will look very nice. So, now that we got that, we can go in here. One, two, let's go with two of them. Put in a taper. Leave it two, we'll go down two. Yeah. So that'll look nice, and it'll kind of mirror how we did with that. Still need to figure out what I'm going to do. I need to fix this. Do it while I'm here. Derp. There we go. Okay. Let's get this finished. So we're going to go back to this guy. And yep, we're already on the right one. Do a little bit of X right there. Boom. And. Boom. Oh, did make it. Oh, right, because I did... I had to go all the way on this side. Yeah, yeah, okay. Back to red...
noise. And then I'll finish that, which I can't reach. Still can't reach. Okay, I'll have to finish that inside. So yeah, so now we got this nice chunky column. I kind of want to thicken it this way too, but we'll see. And that gives us what looks like supports. Yeah, that, that was the right choice. I like that. And then I gotta fix this. This needs to go out further, which means the sides need to go out further, which means you gotta get picked up too. Now, so if we have, put this back on real quick. So then this needs to be like this. It didn't have to be dead center on it by any stretch. And let's start it that way on both hang on a second what's going on here can I not do it because there's no not enough not enough meat Alright, so it starts there. Yes. Okay. So that tells us what we need for this piece. Where we need our floor to come out to. So that we can get this last one there. Yep. Very nice. Is this too tall? I don't remember. It's four, right? It is four. Okay. Let's do it this way. And we're on the correct one, yes, good. That's a weird little divot right there that I don't like. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Yep, I sure did that. Alright, let's try. That didn't work. Alright. Oops. I forgot I took the thing down. <laughs> I could get back up. Good thing teleports work. Alright, let's go this so I don't keep having to almost die on the way down. Alright, let's get back to doing this. Yeah, I don't like this weird little Well, now there's one there, too. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm... Well, that's part of it. That is accurate. I don't have... Uh... I'm straight out just past it. Okay. So that is straight out just past it. That's what it is. It's just all the way from the beginning. It isn't down isn't far enough. Let's just go ahead and go down so that I can 
fix the parts. You thicken that anyway. All right. And it's all the way back there, isn't it? Oh, because I only did... Right. I know what I did. I only did a portion of this thing. I never finished it. Not that it has to be finished, but I never did. And that's why it's missing the stuff. Alright, so that'll help it to not be so stuck on that one spot. And now I can do this. That is exactly what I wanted. It still has that weird piece sticking over there. Why is that doing that? Oh, it's doing it on that side too. Okay. Alright, alright. So then we still need... That far there. And that far there. So I need to come out one further than this, so this is still safe. So um, I am in the hollow hall that I built. So this is Public Resource World version 3.5, the original Public Resource World. I welcome in those who've just shown up. And all everything that's in here, I built for the Public Resource World to, I'll show you real quick, to be the housing for the collector. So how each of the NPCs need housing, need housed a roof in order to be able to craft things, this just became his home. Just like, um, you know, people build blacksmiths for the smithy and etc. I just built this for that guy. And I never really finished it, so I figured, uh, why not work on it on stream? That way if people pop in there, they could be like, hey, what if you did this? And I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. Why don't I do that? Or something to that effect. Figured a good way to uh, segue into me actually getting my ass off, of, or getting off my ass to finish it. Not that I think I can just zip up and finish it and stream it all in one shot, but at least it gives me some motivation. Eh. That's a hard spot to get to. Yeah, I don't think I got it all. I did now. Alright. So we need... Let's do it this way. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and bridge this thing. Finish it out. And then I'll just delete a couple pieces will be easier to uh, alright so then we'll just take this like that grab our fence of course this makes it how the hell am I gonna get up here now that this is I'm doing this no this I want this right there okay What did I do wrong? That is off badly. Did I go too far to one side? I think I did. Now it's off on that side. 
Do I not know how to math, apparently? Okay, so that one is right up against it. Right up against it. I could have swore we did this before I went down there, and it was fine. Now it's one off. It's off by one, I mean. And I did miss one. There's a chunk missing right there. All right. Need some light. Back to this. Hmm, conundrum. Do I rebuild this thing? Because I believe it's straight now. Are we, or did I mess it up again? So, it, so okay. Town is, is not that far from, from accurate. Uh... I, I guess the easiest thing is... By the way, this, all this is no mods. There are public resources with mods, and, and there's nothing... I have nothing against them. Yep, I did. I fucked it up again. I built this too far over, and that's why we're messed up. Oh, I gotta fix that. So, here, let me reset the day on this. It'll send me back to the... the shrine anyway. Do you know, what better way to ask, what a public resource world is? Essentially, we have everything. So, public resource... And, I, of course, I picked the empty box like an idiot. We have all the supplies. Every resource... And a few of these I need to fix because... Um, I have been using some of this stuff during this renovation. But we have all the things. Every building block, every roof type... Every grass type, every seed, you name it, we have all of it. And I'm one of, or I shouldn't say I, uh, there are three active public resource worlds today. And this just happens to be one. Like, if we go in here, the new armory that I built, this has all of the armor. And there isn't really much... Eh. There isn't really much in them because I haven't gone and done all the dupe, but there'll be eight different copies of the same. So all five pieces of that, it goes all the way up to the highest gear. And we now have space for the new stuff that's coming. We've got the... Uh, I need to get the right button. Come on. It, it's a little twitchy getting to those sometimes. Like all your cosmetics and... Up here you've got all your weapons. You've got your staves up here. You've got rings... This is all your mage. You can see the dude up there. You've got your warrior stuff here in the middle. And then you've got your ranger stuff over here. So, it has all of the things. And then the, the final spot is the square. The square is where it has all of the crafted items. So chairs and maybe you want uh, tables in your place or you want a fireplace it's got all that stuff and we've got all of them in droves everything you can think of it's every crafted gathered or looted item in the game and we have all of them we have everything of all of them all the plates, all the dishes, all the heads, all upgraded heads that you can use for your trophies all the secret doors, everything. And including all of the equipment you need to craft yourself. And of course we have different crafters. So I did not build this world. I built this. This is the hollow hall and that's all I built. I have renovated the world because we needed more space each time things came out. But this one over here, this is the alchemist hut. This was a contest that uh, the original creator crazy loon uh he held a contest for this build and however many submitted i don't remember and this is the alchemist house this is the winning submission for the house so a player built this and then over here you have emily's house this is the farmer i held this contest and someone you've got some other characters in here of course but Someone won this one, and we got Emily's house. So, they made a cute little bathroom down here. And then there's an upstairs. 
you can actually go up above and get to some uh, really cool stuff up here. Here she is to do your crafting. You got all your plates and stuff. I mean, obviously you're not really using all that, but it looks cool. Apparently there's double sinks. That's really neat. I didn't even notice she did that. And then the armory was built by Crazy Loon himself. So I have just expanded it by going underneath. And yeah, so that's what it is. The, the next contest is probably going to be the carpenter, but I don't know when we'll hold it. Uh, maybe after um, update four is out and it's kind of settled because it's going to take a little bit. What happens is between this world and... Oh, and then here's my dude. I put him in here. I built a little little secret room back here where he does bad things to the denizens of uh, Ember Vale. Figured out how to make chains go at an angle. Just all kind, you know, I, I made a head inside of the... What's this thing called? I can't remember the name of it. Whatever that machine's called. Um, but yeah, it just, you know... Cool stuff, fun, fun it's this thing. Uh, ectoplasm press, yeah, that thing. And now I'm working on it because I, you know, I get like builder's block, I guess is the way to say it. There's times where I'm like, I don't know what I want to really build and this, that, and whatever. And then I, for, for a while I don't build anything, but then I'll go back and I'll have like a flurry of building for a little while. And right now is a flurry of building. So I figured if I do it on stream, maybe people like yourself or somebody else jumps in and go, hey, what if you did this? And I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Oh, I need to sink all these down, too. All right, damn it. I got I to gotta fix this. Well, I did want to thicken these up. This gives me the opportunity to do that. All right, put that back on. No less irritating, but now I can uh, make the. Okay, I'm still missing another one. There we go. All right, now we fixed it. So then all of this is wrong. Yep, one less width on the right side, correct. Nope. Nope. There we go. So now, let's switch to this guy. No, let's switch to this one. And the correct block. Turn snapping off. Vertical we go go. Almost made it. So then I just need to bring that in and then I will add one to this. Do it outside first. Get up there. There we go. Get up there. Get up there. All right. It's going to look better being a little chonky. All right. Let's just do it like this. It'll be easiest. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? Hot damn. And as high as we're going, let's go three. Just like we'll follow the same that I did with these. We'll come... Come down three also. That I'm gonna have to reach up. Okay, let's go upwards. How to say what your server is built on? Please pass on my assumption to your friends. Um, we all appreciate that. Uh, stuff is truly mind blowing. Looks organic. Food. That so that's what we went for. Now. Uh, some of the public resource worlds is just this compact mess of boxes, and, I, and there's nothing against that.
but we kind of wanted a, a, a town feel. And, you know, it's just, just kind of how it ended up. All right. Three down. And I need one more over. And two over. Yeah. And then I'll have to finish that over there. Well, let's just, uh... Let's just uh, hop on, hoppity skippity over there. No, no. I hate when it does it right at the last second. I should also mention this public resource world is free to anybody. Uh, we have it listed on the Discord. I also keep it backed up on my disc, uh, Discord, excuse me, on my Patreon for anybody that's a free mem free Patreon membership or account, excuse me. That way, it's always backed up. There's always backup files for it, just in case any weirdness happens. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good feel. I gotta finish the backside of that there, though. It's a good feel to it. All right. Uh, well, since we're doing this, I might as well go ahead and get our uh, two pieces out of this. Then pop this in. It's going to let me do it. Oh. <laughs> Not really with me standing here, it isn't. Is that the correct spacing? It is not. Because I wanted to do that one forward. Alright. Pick it back up. Try it again. That looks correct. Alright. Put this back. Pop that back on. Nice. Now, let's do this one. How do you save a third of the Hall's building? I can only find stuff in, in shelves of the monsters. So, you can also demolish in the Hollow Halls. And if you demolish this stuff, it will give you some. Uh, sometimes you can get it when you throw a bomb at it or use a, an explosive arrow. But being that this is a public resource world, we do what we were shown by Cool Username Bro, uh, who is the one of the community managers basically back during the demo since we only had an eight hour timer he showed us how to save the game put a bunch of stuff in our bags load the game back on from a save so like a like a backup on your desktop for example all the stuff would still be there but now we had stuff in our bags because your character is different than the world save and so we would just do that it some people call it duping. I don't know that it's actually duping because all you're doing is reloading a save and your character just has the stuff. So it's whatever you want to call that. And that's how, on the public resource worlds, that's how we get all of the stuff. Right, I can't do it like this. I have to... I gotta do it like this. Okay. That's not gonna work that way. Wrong one. It's gonna be on this one. Okay, let's do this again. Now we're even. Yay. And we're done. There we go. Better. I need something in the corner, though. Each of the corners needs something. I'll figure out what I'm going to do in the corners. But now... Ooh, brazier. Yeah, I can dig the idea of a brazier. Hmm, which, oh, that's not centered. I was so busy looking at the thing, I didn't look at the floor. Okay. Uh, let's go take a look. 
because yep. Yeah. Oh, the I bet. I wonder if I could do the the standing skull one from Hollow Halls, and it's gonna be that one. These that's just too much. So skull or not skull? Let's take them both and let's find out what I like. Bum, bum. All right. Let's start with skull. Gonna have to come from the outside, aren't I? How about here? Pick this up. Let's see if I can do it without that there. Right, and I can't get to it because I'm too low. All right. Let's get rid of all this junk. No, that's not what I meant. There we go. Now, I need to go up. Should be good. Should be good. Better. All right, now let's point it in. I think I want to do the. I th I think I'm I'm good with the uh, skull ones. Okay, where's my angle here? It's there. Okay. Now, table. Yeah, I like it too. Works. Oh, too far. Alright, so now we got like a altar ish meeting table thing, and the idea behind this. Obviously, as players, we can just jump down there, but the idea would be that it's directing you to go to the sides and explore more versus just going straight down. But it gives you the wonder, the grandeur of, whoa, look at that, it's cute. I, I'll be doing the lights on the ceiling. I don't know if you were in here when I showed that. I gotta fix those because they're off by two blocks. Like, I, that's actually how it is in the hollow halls. I built them just like it. But it's two blocks. It needs to go two blocks that way. A floating throne with a table looking back at the table. I'm trying to think of what that would look like. Aw, oh, damn it. I did it again. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't do nothing. I get back in there. I'm going to leave these. I'm going to leave this up here for now just because I keep getting myself stuck down here. But I'm going to take these things off, though. Alright, so now I have a way to get up and down temporarily while I work on this. So that side's good. No, wait. This side has something missing. There's something wrong right here. That's it. Alright. Now that's fixed. I can see that's all messed up. Alright. So we got that. This thing used to go quite a bit further that way. I had another uh, altar down there, but it's like, yeah, this is too much. Okay, let's do that now. This is going to bug me if I don't finish that. And I think I want to do this too here. Let me take this up and let me see how this looks. Center of the open space, op oh, opposite of the area. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost like it's the the yin to the yang. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I got you. All 
go too high? Or is it just right? I need light. Hmm. I don't think I like the one on the left. I think the one well, I like the one on the right more because it accents this space better. Change to that. Alright. Let's get up there and let's finish the top sec. What am I doing? Whoa, that went there a little far out, didn't it? Yeah, I can get to it. That's fine. Alright, so we came out two. Let's go down and see if I'm okay with that, if I like that. Oh, that's weird. I don't think it's thick enough to... Uh, I think I'll have to go four. Which I'm not against. I'm to totally not against it. And then taking these columns down. So the columns will ride the, the front down. I think I will. I think I'll make it four. You have a Thulsa Doom Worshipper look to you, and I'd be very impressed if you had the Thulsa Doom Warrior. I do, I do not get that reference. It To me, it sounds like a 40k reference, but I could be totally... That or StarCraft. Oh, Conan. Wait, which Conan? We, we talking about Reboot Conan, or are we talking about OG Conan? And, and no offense to Reboot Conan... I uh, I think um, oh god how do I forget his name uh, Aquaman I I think the dude's great but I I'm I'm an Arnie yeah OG yeah I, I'm a, I'm an Arnie man when it comes to Conan that and and, and freaking uh, James Earl Jones is the the snake dude oh man it was cool I weirdly enough though I was one I was never really into um. What's her name? Grace Kelly or something? Um, I I just didn't really like her character. I loved the the like wizard thief dude. I can't think. I couldn't think of his name. It's better, but it's still. I don't know. Maybe if I do this too, it'll uh, it'll, it'll impress me more because. Okay, so that this part looks better. I'm kind of on the fence about the top. I don't know. But it does look better, and I do want to uh, bring that down and continue these on down. So I think we'll leave it at that. Man, stop that. Bad. Update four, I'm I'm so hyped for it. That's part of why I started doing the reno of, of the public resource world in prep for it, because it's a lot of stuff. But yeah, the mountain biome's gonna be cool. I'm really interested in what Keen's definition, their their little tease of town's folk. What what do they mean by townsfolk? What what is is their definition? So I'm I'm real interested in that because I, I think that could be v a very cool addition to the game. 
even if they don't do anything, like they, they don't actually interact with the player character, they just kind of add ambiance to the to our town. I, I Whoa, that's not the right one. I think it's going to be great. <clears throat> Uh, there are banners for the Hollow Hall, so the, there's that half one. There's the big, big boy one. And the... I don't think I have the medium displayed. I have to go look. The medium is five, five or six wide. It's basically this wide. Yeah, because this is two, this is six. It's either this or one block less wide. Oh, yeah. The Hall of Halls ones are... Mad. We wanted them. We're like, oh my god, we want these so bad. And they're like, are you sure? <laughs> and if I can do it, I'll show you a trick. <laughs> I hit a secret behind it. I haven't done anything with it yet. But it's still fun. All I did was come into it. You can't see it at all. You can see it if you go, like, real hard to the side, because you'll notice there's a hole in the wall. Yeah, you can see it right there. But, yeah. Otherwise, there's there's no real way to know it. But but you still get in there. And I wanted... I, uh, see, that's something I really wish we could do. I wish we could place chests. So, I want to be able... Even... Okay. Even if we can't actually put anything in it yet, and like maybe make that some, maybe because it has to do with procedural generation inside the chest, like what's in it, give us the chest. Just, I don't care. Let me physically put something in there that, that looks cool or that I like or whatever. And I think that would really add to the basis because then we can build these like dungeons and, you know, a hollow hall with a chest. Like, okay, so here, there you go. There's what you say. So you say put uh, something like this clear on the other side. It'd be cool if the chest is a skin you could apply to your own storage. So the gold, the silver. Oh, that's interesting. That's a, that's an interesting idea. Okay, okay. Well, that that actually could work. So since it's not really hard to reskin items like this. Okay. These two are probably the same prop, just with a reskin of the head. Most likely, they're identical props. I mean, everything except for that, nothing but, but the head changes. So likely, this little bob right here is getting a reskin of that. So if they could do that with the chest, instead of giving us the actual treasure chest out in the world, they give us the ability to turn our chests that, that already exist into something that looks like the treasure chest. That'd be sweet. But then I could do what you're saying. Put the, the mirror of this on the other side. Make it so you cannot get to it from here in any way. No matter how well you jump enough to draft, it just, you just can't get to it. No, no amount of, obviously you could with a hammer and build to it, but no amount of any way to get to it uh, This from normal methods. And it has a chest in it. And it has... I don't know, whatever. Whatever we decide to put in it. But, yeah, that'd be cool. I, I like that idea. Alright, I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with these guys. Alright, we got a nice workings of a cave so far. Oh, there you go. That's the way you can light it up.
Nice. All right. Got to think about this. How? What I'm going to do? Go in there. One thing I thought about: come in at the same level, have a bridge that comes out and goes across. Same kind of concept. You can't actually get down, but. It's just like teasing, right? You can see this bridge. What is this bridge? Why is it damaged? What can you do with it? And, you know, we can, like, go back in here and do stuff, too. But I'm trying to wrap my head around how I want all that to work. All right, this all needs to come down further. Okay, so you're all good there. You are actually too far over, but that's alright because we're going to come with that block. Can I reach? I cannot. Alright. Like the builds you're seeing here, come back to more. Have you done your Halloween contest build yet? Damn it, give it up there. Wait a minute, that's only one. I didn't go deep enough. Well, if you haven't yet, make sure you submit your Halloween contest, because they've even said that even those who feel like they're they're maybe not the best of builders, they're going to have a, a, a possibility for you to still win as well. Okay, something's missed. Ooh, I almost fell. Have a hard time focusing on stuff sometimes. Building for well, I mean, I do the same thing. Uh, it'll be I'll be like building for hours and hours and hours, and then I'll go weeks where like I don't know what the hell to build. A Hearthstone game, yeah. I was uh, I tried to get into that back when I played WoW, but I just never. It just I don't know so, something just didn't click with me. Wow, still missed one. I don't know, get in there. Oh, still missed one up there. Where the hell are you? There we go. Alright, there's a nice thick chonky boy. play hard so as long as you don't spend a dime on it with all the rewards you can unlock and the classes I like and then I get bored. Yeah, no. I'm I I I'll admit there's been games that I have I don't really play the free to play stuff. I have played free to play stuff, but I don't usually uh what I ended up spending some money on back in the day and cuz I was a long long time player was Eve Online. Uh once they came out with Plex, I spent uh, more money than I probably should have on Plex just because even though I had all kinds of stuff I I wanted finally to have a pimped out Vindy and you know what if uh, Plex got me to it then Plex got me to it I wasn't uh, too ashamed about it but a little ashamed about it <laughs> no no wrong one so been there done that I think we all probably have at least to an extent 
No, wrong block. I'll probably cinch that up now that it's down there. In fact, let's go ahead. There you go, three from the bottom. Almost the bottom. All right, so that'll give us a, a vertical column coming down. I don't know if I'm going to go this way into there. I might. I might just, you know, just go ahead and make it as an option. I hope one day we get a bigger, quote, dig tool. I think this is what most people, I mean, you can also do this, obviously, where you, but it can be a pain in the ass. Especially, it can br mess up the stuff that you've already laid down. But it comes in handy. Alright, so now we have an option we can come this way if we choose. Now the question is, do I want that to come fully blocked out? Why did I switch? Let's do... That'd be a big ass column. I have that there. So I already have the corners. I don't know, let's take a look and see what I think. It really needs to come there. We used to start digging ROM for Hogwarts Great Hall and then switch to the exploit. <laughs> I mean, explosives are great. I did that with a lot of this. The only problem is, you know, like if I got a wall next to it, it makes it a little twitchy. A little sticky, stabby, explodey. It's going to be one big-ass column, but I'm not against it. Now the question is, what I want this also. I think I don't, I don't want this to be both. Okay, so we were up here. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's get them all level. Hope they'll add a trapdoor and a ceiling. So, I mean, we kind of technically have one. The, the We have two, the hidden door thing. But, it, I mean, it's obviously not that hidden. But I want to see now, I have no idea how much this would be in, in effort. I want to see a, the secret door in all the building materials. And that's, uh, yeah, that'd probably be a challenge. But I'd like to see that happen. Yeah, really clouds and be... Oh, now I see what you mean by trapdoor. Uh, that'd be cool. I'm gonna put potion in the set on the table and emoticon and gra grab it, and then the trap door and bees come and get them. Building a sky city that's a 60, 160 by 160. Yeah, that's a lot. Even my, uh, here. Uh, hopefully I, I don't risk pissing too many people off. I'll show you real quickly my... Both my contests, my Halloween build, and I'll show you what I submitted the first time. A button to trigger doors, yeah, that'd be sweet. Real quick, I will show you my first 
submission. This was for the original contest, uh, the one that had all those big prizes. This is built 100% inside Braylon's Bridge. There, there is nothing exceeding uh, the outside of Braylon's Bridge. So these are the, uh, the the columns, outside columns. This is my pride and joy. My, my best creation was this bathroom. Turned out so good. But yeah, this thing just spirals down. You got your... Well, ha I had the collector. I moved him for the Halloween contest. He normally hangs out right there. Then you go down into the uh, prison. This over here is the nice prison. This is the hole. It, this is where like you uh, punch the king in the face and you just have a rug to sleep on and you're in the shroud. So you better hope you didn't uh, do that kind of bad. This thing took me ages to build. Here's your main level. with my library which is very cool I, I, I did some good great screenshots with this thing if I can get my camera right it's got a little secret and another secret this is what I mean by I did not jack mess with Braylon's bridge it's still all busted it's all messed up oh, on the top there's that I did put some arrow slits to the outside to get a little bit of light. Here's this guy's dude. He's got a little range hood for his uh, smoke to go up. Then you come down through one of the supports. Here's his house. It's where the blacksmith lives. You can come all the way over here. Deep storage over here. We get out to one of the really busted sides of the bridge come over here this is the chapel type jobby this is before I did all this before we got any of this new stuff uh, so I did this pre tombs and all of that jazz and this goes out to what everybody knows of When I say this thing's all inside, it is all inside. There's nothing out here. I didn't build to the side of it. I didn't build anywhere. This is where you can drop down and go into the... Uh, into here. Then you have this balcony that was destroyed just like this. I did add a little bit of this direction. But you have the alchemist, which these stairs can no longer be done because uh, they got messed up when they added seating to them. This poster bed, which is awesome. I, I created this thing. You can go outside there, which is another little secret area. You got to be real careful coming out. And it puts you out right here to the bridge. we can go down you've got the hunter yeah this little dude he's got a really cool little place I made this sawhorse for him a little one cuz you know he's a little guy he's got himself a cute little place down here he's got his own bathroom that that, that dude's that dude's making it big in the world he's got his own bathroom this is where the girls live they got their own fireplace And they have their own bathroom, which... Oh, that's new. It wasn't enshrouded before. Something changed. Well, I'm glad I built it before it got enshrouded. And then you go outside. And we have in here in the tunnels... This is the original mine for the Braylon Bridge. I'm... I'm using that in air quotes because I built all this. Like they they dug too deeply in here and woke up don't know what. Really proud of this section. Here's the mine. Goes all the way to the wall. Here's the crane that I created. It's got working mechanisms, sort of. 
You got it, you know, just sitting in the wall. But it looks cool. You know, the busting up through the seams, coming out of one of the places where they were digging. They still got some of the rocks that they built out or uh, cut out of the walls. A well that I sure as hell wouldn't want to be drinking out of. Living under a bridge. Living in a bridge, bro. They're not living under the bridge. Here's where they brought the rock up originally. The first column. This is the very first column. Another one of the uh, cranes. And then this jobby right here is fun. No, I, I don't. I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I built, I built a little big. Now I'll take that back. My, I'll, I'll show you the Halloween contest here in just a second. I did not do anything with this. This it was busted just like this. I literally just went inside of it. So the Braylon Bridge is completely, quote unquote, intact in that there's no building outside of it. It's all inside of that hole, and it's the whole bridge except for the very end. I'll show you my Halloween. My Halloween build is the same way. I did not... Oh, I'll take that back. I, I changed the outside just a hair. So this is right next to the first elixir well. And it's just that little thing that all it has is a single... Um, a single chest down in there. I put this here, and I just built up around it, and then I added these little skulls to each as you come up. Otherwise, I didn't change the outside at all. It's still the same thing. You still get in through this backside. Spoiler alert if you don't know about this. I mean, it's only like level 3 gear. But I didn't change anything back here. I gutted all... This room was here, obviously, because this is still here. I just left it and didn't loot it. So I did all this. I figured out how to make a dude look like he's in here. That was really difficult. That took me forever. I made a door, which also took me forever to figure out how to do it right. I've got a head. I've got a head in a box. You know, we got a someone's head there. Of course, the chains. That was busted like that, so I just put a deal in it. You got a little. Uh, Little storage space. Then we got the crypt. Because it's Halloween, right? So they said, like, uh, dungeons or haunted castles or graveyards or whatever. So I did a... I kind of did all of them. This is like some worship thing. I don't know what you want to call it. It's got its own secret. Secret entrance. You can't you can't even see it at all. Like it's it's hidden very very well. And then we go up. All of this I had to gut block by block. And this is where he is. I made a pumpkin that looks like crap, but hey man, it's a pumpkin. I think. <laughs> got some flying books. He's got a bathroom that he he hid. But it's a it's a nice little bathroom and the bathroom has a secret. It's also got an entrance. Doing all all of this block by block and I would go one block too far and it would open the outside and like, oop, take that back. And somehow so I this I don't know how this thing blinks, but it blinks and I love it. Yeah, right. Emergency exit out of, out of the bathroom. You might need it too. You eat some of the stuff that that are he, that's here in this place. This one's got a lot of flying books. And then this, the abomination looks like he's holding up the the chandelier. Oh, that was cool. I I didn't did that didn't happen on purpose. Yeah, I like the flying books. And so, outside. I can't really show you because I can't get far enough out right now. These two look like eyes, and this one, it has a bunch of stone around it. 
it looks like a tumor on the skull's face. And then uh, and then that kind of looks like a monocle or something. So it works out really well. Alright, back to work. But yeah, I... I, <laughs> I, I get a little excited when I build. And I like to build... I don't know if large is the right term, detailed. I like to build very, very detailed and put a lot of little touches in things. And maybe, honestly, maybe that's why I never finished this hollow hall. It's just because maybe I built too big. There's another part in here I didn't show you that I really loved. This is when I first figured out how to do the chains. I figured out how to do, uh, like, chests and stuff in walls, but get them to angle and stuff like that back then. But yeah, this turned out really well. This is like a... I did not create this part. Uh, Ketmall figured that out or somebody. How to do... You stack... I don't remember what that thing is. The copper cup or something? Something. Anyway. Let's get back to our column work. Doink and doink. Alright. So we are right here. Yeah, I should have done this one first. That was a mistake. I could step the column back, too. I don't know. I don't think it, ma I don't think it matters. Having a big chonky boy for columns, probably alright. Pretty cool. Nice big fat column. Okay, so... This shouldn't be here. to go okay yeah looks about right nice Same thing. Let's get rid of this. Okay.
so we got some good big th uh, chunky boys for columns. We got our sides good. Let's see if that comes up the same. Comes up the same. Perfect. So we got that the same on both. Maybe I'll bring that just down to the level. All right. So then we got our two ways in. Let's see. Let's go to the big boy. Gave me an idea for Halloween build, a rundown ruined house with a corn maze. Ooh! I mean, now that we have the uh, hedge, I can't think of the name of it, that well, would work. Just off the side, lead building house surrounded by thick forest with a monster head trophy glowing in the trees. So, it can. So, um, here. Uh, do I have it anywhere? Let me think. Uh, here, let's just go upstairs. So you have to think about uh, when you want to do props and you want to do something weird with it, you got to think about layers. Where can you place something within the same general vicinity as something else? Uh, let's get something right here. Let's do... That'd probably be a good glow. Let's try that. And let's try... He's awful big. Mm. Yeah, we'll try him. Alright, so imagine... Yeah, we'll just use this wall. So imagine you're wanting to put your your trophy dude up here. So the way to look at it is this. You're going to bring this guy out and you're going to stick him on the wall. Wherever you're planning on putting him. Then whatever thing it is that you want to glow. Let's First off, we want to see where we're going to get it. So I need, I need a block. So the first thing I need to do... Let's pull, bring this guy down some. He's way too high. Come here, mister. Let's do this a little bit more at level so we can make this work. So because of the way this sits, I, I need something that's going to sit it out. So I'm roughly at eye level there. So I'm going to put not that block. I don't want that. It's best if you use something that's very square. So one of the light blocks or one of the metal blocks. That's too high, I think. Let's try these two also. And you want to have no more than five pieces so that you can use Y to erase it. So now what I need to do is I need to get this to where it looks like it's going to come out right at his eyeballs. So it's there, and we got to look at the spread of his eyes. That might work. So now what we would do is we would take this, get rid of all those, and we take our head, and because of the having those in the way, we're probably not going to be able to put it straight on. Probably going to have to come from the side. So you're going to try to kind of weasel it in there. Kind of side-like. Holy shit! Dude! Oh my god, that's that's awesome right there. Okay, I don't love the flames coming up his head, but 
I could probably do the spacing a little better, but you get the idea. So you want to think of it as layers. Um, here, I, I, I a better way to show you the layers. Let me go to this one. Yeah, that turned out really awesome. <laughs> he does look sweet tooth. Bro, that game is... I, I, I miss... I miss... Uh, uh, metal... Twisted Metal. I miss Twisted Metal. That on PS1, that was that was the shit back then. Alright, let's go take a look here. I'll show you what I mean by layers. You can do some crazy... This is my testing facility, by the way. I never delete anything, so that way if I ever need to come back and remember... How did I do so-and-so? I can't even get up there. What the hell's the problem with me? Okay. So you see this dude right here? Uh, forget Netflix where we're streaming. Give me a new Twisted Metal game. Hell yes. I, like, like proper Twisted Metal game. I don't want some dumbass... All oh, these stupid bees that come after me every time I come here. Okay. So we got this guy, right? He's there. Uh, it's the north... Um, set with just his head. The problem is to hide the plaque, which you can kind of see it right behind his left ear. You have you he has to be coming out of the middle of it. And then I tried to do a weapon in his hand, but there's only a weapon stand that would fit the right height. This dude over here, I actually had to I had to place him up on one thing, but it looks better. It looks like he's like hanging on the wall, right? So it's the the head from the flying boss. It's the scarecrow. Then there is a mannequin and the mannequin has two pieces, three pieces. Three pieces. Because the upper body body of the elite hollow look kind of like the same. And, and you can see I've got uh, heads in a box, you know, for the Halloween stuff. But that's what, to do the layers, you just start with a thing. I'll tear this apart and we'll show you. <laughs> he looks so funny with with just the, uh, just the mannequin there. It looks hilarious. So we'll pull the mannequin off so you can see I got a mannequin now. And then this guy will pull him off. And there's your head. Now you can see the plaque a little bit. And I'll show you what you have to do even to get the plaque to work. So that's going to be... That right there. Let's uh, get me something to stand on here. Okay. The, p the head is sitting... <laughs> Again, this is what I mean by layers, man. It's it's a lot of work. You gotta find out wherever you you can place. It works really well with the stool. I can't find anything else that works as well as the stool does. Then you find out, you know, what I did is going up all the way was too much. I came down just a little bit, like that. Then pull out since I oh I just I didn't delete that just now. Well, yeah, I did. I don't, know, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, there. And then you just hit Y to bring it back. But I need a small one right below here because I need something for this to stand on. And I did not get that at the right height, but that's okay. We can still leave it like this. So I went in just until the wood was buried and then stopped so it looked like he's is crucified the right thing but uh, <laughs> it's because of layers <laughs> yeah probably and then put the mannequin on the mannequin I got you have to be back some and it even helps if you crouch because it gets in the way and I come until you see the hand sticking out kinda like at his belly button I came until they just hid behind the coat. I don't know what you want to call that. And then pull this out. Got rid of that. Came up to this guy, opened him up, put his armor on. 
so he doesn't have those little stubby feet anymore. And there you go. So that's how you got to think about it. Just layer stuff as best you can. A lot of times you're going to have to come at it from a side angle because the thing is in your way that you're trying to put on it. And like this one you can see is just the guard, guard armor, the uh, guard of the north, and then just the head, and then I did the two-hander, which it worked out okay. It wasn't great. But it did something. This is just uh, two of these grates. I can actually show you how I did this. So since we don't have a door yet... Uh, na -na, na -na, na -na. You find out, first off, which way's the outside and which way's the inside. There you go. Find out wherever you want to have it open. It doesn't matter, or have it shut. Get your overlap onto the corner. However you want it to look. And then you take out this. And you need too high. Uh, uh, nope, not you. No. Stop that. There. It needs to go up just too high. And you want it in a little zigzag pattern. Because you're going to be standing another piece on top of it. So, now that you got your zigzag pattern, you take this off. Then you come back. Put this back on. Get it get it into your little fence thingy. And then do this again. And then you want this just pixel perfect as best you can. And there you go. Door. And you can even do, you know the the single piece, the vertical? I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I have one over here. Uh, right here. If it lets me pick it up. There we go. You can do the exact same thing. I'm only going to show you it's the one piece, but you can do the exact same thing where you put it up one block and you can stick this right at the edge. It, this one's a little difficult because of the collision, but you can get it right at the edge and it terminates it. It makes it look uh, like an actual edge piece versus just the pieces sticking off. And it works really well. I did that in my uh, um, Halloween build. But now, of course, I'm going to have to go find somewhere to put Wookie, Wookie the Death Eye. I have to stick him somewhere now that I made that thing. I'll have to try out different uh, lights to see what I think works better, but that worked out pretty damn well. Alright, let's get back to work. So weirdly enough, I've never really had problems with Enshrouded. I know there are people that do, and I'm not belittling them. I'm not saying, uh, call them Sweet Tusk. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually really cool, Sweet Tusk. Um, now, now you just need to make a white ice cream truck. <laughs> and have, have, have him as the hood ornament or something like that. That'd be so ridiculous. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that'd be hilarious. Uh, yeah, I was saying, I, I don't belittle the people that do have problems. I wish they didn't have problems. I just, I guess I've been lucky. If you could pull up building the ice cream truck. So, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go try to build it, but we. Ha it depends on the hardware. I had an issue with my friend. A lot of crashes after one of the updates. My my guess, and ba this is based off of a lot of what I've seen from the forums, a lot of what I've seen on Discord. Uh, AMD is having more of a problem than Intel. I'm not saying that Intel's good just because of that. I'm just saying within Shrouded. 
they've had more issues with AMD than they've had with Intel. And this includes for graphics cards as well. For the game, like like mine, mine runs pretty warm. I mean, I can definitely feel heat, but I have a I have a um, oh, what's the name of this brand? It's the one that has the North and the R7 uh, fractal designs. So m mine's extremely well vented, and I have the big knock to a D15 or D12 or whatever it is on my CPU. So it's super well vented. But it still runs warm, and I and I do understand people that have some issues with that. Uh, hopefully, because it, the way the games usually go is they, what am I doing? they usually will do their streamlining as time goes, you know, and they'll do bits here, bits there, and then at the very end, after they've added all of the whatever the stuff is, they do the big push, the big holy shit, we're, we're now done, we're going to do all the big streamlining, and hopefully by that time it will get to where more people are having less problems. Because I want to... I'd like to see a lot of people play this game. I mean, obviously they do. They sold over 3 million copies, so a lot do play it. But I really enjoy it. I enjoy the building and the freedom, and, and for the most part, I think Keen is a pretty good studio. Um, everybody has their issues, even Keen has some issues, but for the most part, I'd say they're doing well, they're handling uh, early access pretty well, and maybe even better than than a lot of uh, other studios have handled their early access games. So I'm, I'm not, certainly by no means, unhappy with uh, Keen, and I'm definitely happy with Entrouded. So, uh, thoughts. Okay, so, uh, ice cream truck. There's a new tie, a new roof tile coming out that looks like slate. So that could be the front windshield. Well, it, his front windshield's almost vertical, though. But you could do it anyway just because that's what you do. Then you could use, um, which one's the one that's the marble? Uh, what's the name of it? I'm trying to think. Man, now I'm going to have to go look. I'm not going to go try to build it, though. But I'm going to go look at the what materials it is. It's, uh... Damn. What is the name of it? Fine... Something? This. Highly Polished. So you've got Highly Polished, which is f about as white as we've got. Then the, the tile looks like it looks a lot like the stone shingle but it's more um, uniform and it, it's it, I wish I could pull up the screenshot they did uh, send it out on Twitter it's a very nice look we already know it's in the game because people that use a builder's companion have already been using it um, slate something I don't know that it's called slate anything to be honest so that could be the windshield um, Let's see, what about dark windows? Well, I got you red carpet. I'll show you that. Oh, here, I'll show you a different way. I know how to do red carpet. I figured this out a long time ago. Um, white floor block The block I just showed you is reasonable. I wouldn't say it is, but it's reasonable. Here you go. Here's your carpet. This is just the stone bench. But if you line them up real nicely, you can make... I know, it's not really a carpet, but you can make some pretty nice... You can do some edge details with it. It looks very, very very good. Oh, here's some, here's some you probably want to see. I, all, I have all these up in videos, but I have so many videos that it's hard... I built this grotto. It's really cool. Super time consuming. My god. And these that can't be done anymore. They messed up the... Uh... You notice how you can't sit on any of these? Because the... Oh, wait. I'm wrong. You can. 
That's too funny. Um, they messed up the collision when they added sit for these, because originally we couldn't sit on them. There was just a bench, just be a bench. So unfortunately, this can't be done anymore. It's kind of sad about it. But yeah, uh, that bench will work quite well as a carpeting. A lot of people use it as that. And then, um, so this is what the highly polished looks like on the ground. So it's it's kind of like white. I mean, it's not exactly a white floor. It's more marble-like, but it does kind of look like that. So it's not too bad. Public resources. Actually, I think you're right. I, I think you're right. It does do checkered. It's kind of like a light gray in that white. Alright, I got about 15 minutes left in me. That'll put me at three hours just to advance to warning for folks. Alright, turn that back off. Let's get back to work. Well, let's put a light on. No, we don't want to throw bombs in here. It'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, back to work without bombs. Gonna mess up my wall? Nope, I did alright. Uh, it still makes me nervous. Let's do this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn it. Forgot about that. My secret. Not so secret anymore, huh? Hmm, those could be windows. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, I need to see how far I want to deal with this. So, if we go there... I can't go much anyway because I got that staircase. think how much I want to do this. What kind of grand space do I want to have in here? So I'm thinking, so we come down, got all that stuff. I'm thinking one of these needs to be a, a pretty grand mess hall. So maybe this is our mess hall. So it definitely needs to be taller. the big boy. Um, be careful here. I think that's probably big enough. And let's do a step down. Get back to this side type. Can we go where I want you to go, please? No. That's so weird. It just will not spawn in that section right there. All right, fine.
Uh, let's see. Do we want it bigger like that? It's too over. Alright, which one got missed? There it is. Nope, not all of it. Alright, you know what? Why are you still being a jerk? What the hell is it doing? No cheap viewers for you. It just really hates that one spot. I think I think I figured it out. Oh, so there's some underneath the whole thing. That's what it is. Okay, here we go. Yep. Just moved it over to here. It's going to make me do every single piece, you bastard. But I fixed it, so oh well. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I don't even know. Alright, let's get this stuff out of here. guy. Can we snap it and get it? Nope, we can't. Okay, fine. Let's stop right there. walls up. We'll do like reliefs and stuff like that later on, but for right now I just want to get the wall set. Uh, I better check to make sure that's not messing anything up. I don't see any weirdness. All right. And let's make this the end on this side. All right, so that'll set up our boundary. We'll go to there, so we'll come in, we'll come down, and this space will be some big old grand uh, mess hall. Uh, I guess you wouldn't call it a mess hall, it'd be a banquet hall.
So just out of curiosity, how uh, how Hogwarty, Hogwarts y are you going? Like, is it full on, or are you just taking uh, sections that you f uh, felt manageable to build? Also, for anybody wondering, I do keep the VODs up for as long as they stay up, which is only seven days right now, but I am loading them onto my YouTube as well. So they're going in order on my YouTube, so it'll be a, a hot minute before this one's up there, but in case you forget how I did the Sweet Tusk, the Great Hall, nothing. Oh, okay. I mean, still, the Great Hall is not is no small feat. I'm guessing you have a gazillion candles floating in the air. Septimus Heat Books. I am definitely not familiar with that. I do. I, I do upload the VODs to YouTube. I download them right after they're done and upload them to YouTube and then they stay... I just I'm, They're going in order by date on YouTube so that I'm, I'm not putting up too many videos on YouTube all at once. And they're in a uh, um, playlist called uh, Stream VODs. Kept for posterity, just in case I do stuff like uh, what I did tonight and figured out how to do a really cool, cool uh, flame and skull dude. I mean, it's, it's as much for my reference as. Idiot, that didn't mean to do that. Much for my reference as anybody else. large as this space is, I think I'm going to have to do... I'll put some support... That's not right. I'm going to put some support columns down again. It'll give it a nice flavor as well. Ooh, one of these sides, or somewhere in here, I should leave the, the roof stone and have... That was a weird light there have some supports like running across it or something that'd be really neat maybe even use maybe even use that a little bit uh i've never seen that happen or the angles like that that's cool uh have a little bit of well wow, that's really weird there man if you could get that just right you could have a portcullis I mean, that's a little weird, but it's... You, you could end up with a portcullis if you do it just right. I don't even know if I can get to that thing. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so something like that might be neat in one, one of these spaces. I think if I'm going to do a banquet hall, it should be grand and it probably wouldn't have that kind of stuff. But it would have, I think... It would have columns. It'd probably be a bigger entrance than this, too. I might, uh, I might make both of these a little bigger. I think I'm going to do that.
I really dislike the way that works. When two when two pieces come together from different styles, I really dislike the way it works on one side and it works differently on a different side. It's like, why can't you just be uniform? It's because of this one. No, nope, not that one. One above it. Now it just looks weird. That's going to take some fixing. switch to you and I probably don't have enough but we're gonna find out oh man I like it but I still think this needs to be higher I don't think we are quite... Why am I using that block? That's right. I think we need to be one higher for that better grand, grand look. Yep, both sides. Two of them over here. Where'd you... <laughs> I pulled the ceiling out. Okay, alright. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, that feels better. That feels... Oh, I have to fix that up there. That feels better. Feels feels larger, stronger. And then... Because this inside doesn't have its surround yet. a column on the inside. Nice. So that gives us a little bit of a good look. Oh, let's finish this too. That way. All right. So we have a good step down. Start of a good space. Just need to finish up there. I think. Well, great. Now I got nine people in here. That makes me want to keep going. All right. I'll just keep going. Welcome in the peoples who have come recently. I appreciate you. All right, so all right, so how big, how big do we want to make this?
get some more light. Nope, can't reach it. A little bit more light. Alright, so now we I want to think about... Let's go grab... Uh, some of the chandeliers and check out height. Because, like, I don't think those guys are really going to work. I think they're too tall. Now that's a good question. Do we want to do green in there? These are way too big. It really is only those. Well, the crypt chandelier, which is bright. Just don't know if I want to do green in there. What else do we got? These are just not very bright at all. Oh. Yeah, let's look at an empty one. That'll work. And that's not bright at all. <laughs> let's let's look at this. See what we think. So I have a feeling I'm going to want to go higher. Maybe not. That's not a, that's not a bad height for chandelier. And then you'd have probably some of these things sitting around. Oh yeah. So now with my uh, wisp worn off. Yep, that is just not bright. Okay. Uh, I could do that. I could do that right there. And actually create all the light I want with that stuff. But then I definitely want to go higher if I'm going to do that. Alright. Um, yeah. Pull these down. Maybe. Now let's just go ahead and put the other ones out just so I have more light. Might as well. And screw it, just put these out too. Not gonna hurt to have some light while we're working. Hammer, hammer, hammer. So let's do... Let's see. Need to get a height reference here. Let me really figure out what I'm doing. Nope. Fell down. 
Okay. Alright, so I don't think I want to go all the way as high as that. I think that's kind of... Or do I? Have that as part of the angle as well? How high is that? We're already... I mean, it's definitely lower than the ground upstairs, so that probably is going to be okay if we go that high. I need to go up. Let's go up in the back here. Alright, that gives me plenty of space. Whoops chunked out some of my other stuff. Alright. I'm now at a point I don't need to go much higher. Alright, so if I do, we start with this type of floor. I think I want to go one higher. So if I'm going to do one higher, I want to rim it with this block. Then back to this, back to that, and let's see if we can go just like that. you. Oh man. I need to learn how life works sometimes. walls.
can't get high enough. All right, so we got that. That's, yep, got that, okay. No, that's what I want. Now for the really not fun part, creating those. All right, I gotta go look at these because I don't remember exactly how they're created. It's been a minute. Okay, so it looks like two depth. So, so the block, the, it's three depth, one, the block, then one down, round it. Okay. We need to go get some block. Oops. All right, so if I had it come, if we take that as our guide. So there's our beginning. Hmm. Do I want to do? I can't reach it at doing that. Okay. Seems like that's going to get in the way. Yeah, that, all that's going to be in the way. Okay, so instead of doing that, I need to come over. I think it's three blocks. Three. Okay, now switch again, right? goes to the red for two blocks, or is it one block? Looks to be two blocks to me, but it also looks to be two thickness as well for a total of uh, three. What the hell? Oh. Mess that up.
Nope, won't reach. Okay. I need more space. was wrong so it does this needs to be deeper to back and zoom in oh I'm serious man <laughs> I really want to zoom in it make life much easier I hope we get a better camera system just in general down the road because uh, I'm I'm one of those that argues that the uh, camera is the final boss of uh, Enshrouded at this moment in time at least when it comes to building Combat build for Enshrouded. So, oh damn it. Um, <laughs> everybody's gonna inflame me for this. I, I mean, I, this is another thing. I want to be able to zoom the hell out on this stupid thing. So I use, uh, I used to be the dude that had what I had water aura to one hundred and three per second with uh, buffs and gear and everything. I understand why they nerfed it. They went too much, but it doesn't matter. I'm a, a survivalist build, so wands, and I know people don't like wands. I just played with them from the beginning, and that's what I ended up liking. Uh, I like staves. What I don't like is how long the cast timer is. Like, yeah, great. Acid uh, spray is fantastic if you can get it casted before they come and beat you in the face and so I do a lot of stuff like extra armor, extra survivability um, I go into increase stam so that I can deal with some of that stuff, obviously updraft I don't really like that but I needed it to get to some other stuff so these orbs spawn and they provide quite a bit of uh, juice back to you but it, that's pretty much the way I run, and uh, this one. So I run a mixture to where I'm roughly similar. They've they've nerfed mage so bad. It, it, this is this is what happens. You get a game. Someone finds the photom because, of course, there's always going to be a photom, and. In this game, it turned out to be mage. Same with uh, <laughs> when uh, Elder Scrolls Online, they called it uh, sticks. And, uh, what was it? Uh, sticks and skirts or something like that online, because everybody wore the same gear and used the same stuff. But anyway, they find whatever the flavor of the month is. Everybody plays it. Everybody likes it. But anybody that doesn't, because they want to do some not that thing cries loud as they can cry to get the company to nerf it so that I don't know they feel good about their 
build that doesn't work very well or something. I, I don't I don't get the point of it. Instead of bringing the other things up to the same level. Now, yes, was water or or ridiculously overpowered? Yes, it was 100%. But they triple nerfed, or well, I should say, they compound double nerfed it. They not only increased it from every one second to every two seconds, but dropped the healing in half. So it actually lost 75% of its potency, which was too much. A little more than 50%, probably like 60. 75% was too much. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, I, I like Archer, sort of. But, and they have helped... I'm going to try um, doing a reveal on these and see what I think. I What I didn't like about Archer, and I don't usually main Archer anymore, is uh, arrows. Having to make arrows all the damn time. It sucks. Having to grow all the, the sticks, you know, it's, it's, I hate it. So, and all that. I have a really good, ever since Hollow Halls came out, I learned real quickly that the hollow halls, since everything in there was dropping blunt, I tried something and realized uh, that when I was in there, and realized that everything in there didn't like blunt. So I just used blunt and got really good at it. And I've got a melee build that uh, it can't be killed. I, I literally, unless I just stand there like an idiot. Uh, and with the exception of which one is it? It's one of the two skeletons in Kindle Waste, the Cyclops, when you get the both at the same time. One of them does an automatic kill, like it's a it's a death blow and that you have to dodge. And if you don't dodge it, you just die no matter what. Uh, outside of that, I literally can't die. At least in the Hollow Halls, because I've got so much regen and so much health leech. I don't know if that's the right term for it. Um, I don't love the reveal. Let me look at this again. Those don't have a reveal and I think it looks fine. Alright, let's put it back to no reveal. So I kind of play a, a weird thing. It's 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 just solely wand based. You can see my two weapons. I use this when I'm in the shroud, and I use this. The he everybody uses the helix if you want build when I'm not in the shroud, and then when I need to melee because both of my wands are broken because you know that happens. Uh, I use this the because with very few exceptions, pretty much everybody takes blunt damage. So I don't think there's anybody that's resistant to blunt damage. And then, of course, I keep a, a bow and arrow, and I keep your basic stuff on me. Flare and explosive arrows. Which, explosive arrows, even the second one, they're kind of crap, if I'm being honest. They don't do very much damage. You would think they would do more. But it is what it is. I'm not that upset by it. Now, to be fair, I just reread your post. <laughs> there was a time that Mage was just ridiculous. You when when you could one shot a boss with acid spray, the Eternal, it was it was too much, and and I, and I agree with that. That's that's insane. You shouldn't be able to one shot a boss with any move, really, let alone with just a, a regular uh, staff ability. But same goes with anything. You know, once they start nerfing stuff, they just... I don't know. It's like... It's its like they don't test or properly test the, the nerfing and it gets to be too much. And, and I, I think that's where a lot of studios struggle. And I don't think it's specifically their fault. I think it's, it's an issue... Oh, damn it. Wrong one. It's an issue of... Um, 
it's really hard to gauge everything when you have player versus player ability and I know we don't really have that here you kinda can player player versus player if you use the environment to kill the other player <laughs> but uh, it when you have all kinds of different play styles and one thing's meant for one thing and another thing's meant for another thing it, it can be hard to balance everything but I think a lot of it comes down to I can be careful with words here because I don't want to be mean or anything but apathy they, they just don't try I, I think sometimes it gets to the point where it's like you know what this is good enough we'll just call it a day and I, and I think that is harmful in a way that it, it I don't know it they could do better in my opinion and this goes for any studio. This isn't specific to Keen. Because it, it happens with every game. There's always a photom. It always gets nerfed. It always gets overly nerfed. To the point that people are like, well, what's the point of even playing it now? And no one likes to see their favorite build getting chunked. And I did that wrong. I didn't go far enough. Damn it. Boo. So that needs to be this here. Yep. And then this is here. There we go. And missed an entire spot. All right. Oop. Nope. It sucks when you're working with multiple materials doing it in a, in a small space, changing your materials over and over, and you forget to change them, and then you got to go back and do it again. Let's get out Mr. Uh, Chonker. And there we go. So there's that inner square. Now we just got to do this outside. In that block. space. All 
All right, so we're centered. We've got it on their right. Let's get rid of these guys. Take a look, see. And I think I'll do another pair here, like that. I think maybe this hall will come will come in, and maybe bank one on both sides, with maybe a, a side channel here that runs along the wall that does, I don't know, like uh, serving tables and things like that. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. What space do I have here? Not much. I was thinking over here I could have off to a little side, make a little kitchen. So I'm going to have to do it some not that direction. Maybe that'll be a, an ending room over here. And then this will be the through to... I don't know yet, maybe? Yeah. Getting there. Alright. We need to go like about... Should give me enough room to work around. Alright, now in the middle I believe... It is the other tile, and it's down one more again. Okay, so it's four down. Uh, da, da, da. Nope, this one. Somebody give us two in the morning. Yeah, it's one thirty in the morning. One twenty six. What? Wow. wow. You're either West Coast or Mountain Time. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I I stream every night, uh, like ten to twelve uh, Pacific time. So, I mean, obviously, I'm exceeded that time right now. We're at three hours and thirty two minutes, but give or take that kind of time frame. So, and I'm gonna keep working on this for a little while. I'm enjoying join it again I've got that kind of spark again so I appreciate you coming by I think it's a good time for us to go ahead and end it for this evening I appreciate everybody that stopped by Jasper thank you um, what is this Canosaurus Canosaurus Rex so Canosaurus Rex I appreciate you as well thanks for uh, giving me some cool ideas now now the <laughs> what did you call it twisted tusk <laughs> uh, or uh no, that's a uh, sweet tusk. That's right. That's sweet. That's a good one. All right. I'm going to head out, guys. Thanks for watching.